Good morning, my friends. talking my dad kind of planning out Christmas or at least trying to it's so hard this year is just oh, I, don't, I don't even know what the right answer is anymore that's what I've been doing so far this morning the good news is is I get my hair done today I'm going to get it colored and cut and I cannot wait my husband he's like are you sure it's time already to get it done it seems like you just had it colored I'm like honey my roots do not lie. I have like a gray stripe that goes like right down the middle of my head. It is time. So I'm going to get that done today. My mother-in-law will come over and watch the boys while I do that. So I'm looking forward to that. It takes like three hours to do my hair though when it's all said and done. So it takes up a big chunk of the day. And so I'm just trying to get some things done around the house this morning. I'm going to start a um, chili in the crock pot. So that's on my list to probably do right now and maybe get some laundry going. Also, I wanna pull out the carpet and try to figure out which shade I'm going with so I can put that back in my car and drop that back off. So, yeah, yay for hair day. I thought I better get my chili going, so I'm just browning some ground beef right now. And then as far as the recipe goes, I just grabbed a bunch of stuff out of our pantry to toss in there. I've kinda learned that chili's kinda hard to mess up. You just kinda add beans and tomatoes and ground beef and you're good to go. So I just put, I'm gonna put some chili powder. I have a can of dark and light kidney beans, some tomato sauce, petite diced tomatoes. And then I don't even remember ordering this, but it was in my grocery order I picked up from Walmart last week. I'm like, let's chop that up and stick that in too. minute to add some onion as well. I just keep like a bag of frozen onion in our freezer that I chopped up because we don't use it very often, but why not? Add some onion too. And that'll give it some extra flavor. So let it Before I take off, we're going to do a quick little craft. We're gonna make some reindeer. For my hair appointment, I'm hoping to finish up some of my Christmas shopping. I keep telling myself I'm done and then I remember another thing I need. Got what I needed, mainly like candy and gifts and a calendar, boxes, nothing terribly exciting. I'm about to head in, so here's kind of a before shot. It's looking crazy. It's kinda, I guess, one of those days where I didn't do too much to it because I knew it was just going to um, get colored and all that. So I think I'm gonna do like two inches off 
at least I would say and of course highlights low lights the full out I'm gonna go in there I'm gonna say I need the works maybe even my eyebrows too hopefully I look like a completely different person when I come out I did get her a little Christmas gift too when I was at Target so I'm gonna head in I am back home now. I was so hungry afterwards. Like I never skip lunch and it's like 2.45 right now. I'm like, I need to eat just something. And I really didn't want to go like buy anything because then I'm going to overeat and then I'm not going to be hungry for dinner. TMI, I know. But long story short, I decided to come home and test my chili. I'll just have like a little cup now and that should hopefully tide me over until dinner time. But anyways, there's my new look. It probably looks very similar to what you're used to seeing, but I did get a couple of inches off. She did a great job and then she colored it. Obviously it got rid of all of my gray hair. So I feel like I'm ready for the holidays now. It feels really good. Kind of my requirements is that I can still put it up in a ponytail. Like that's like all I need in my life because 75% of the time it's up anyway. So feel so much better and then I also did get my eyebrows done too which it needed to be done they are blonde but they are we're out of control so we got it all done today but I came home and I have a stitch fix box here I'm so excited it wasn't supposed to get here today it was supposed to come later this week but it came early and the box is huge but um, I think we'll unbox this maybe once I get back from picking up the kids so stitch fix if you are new here is a it's like a clothing subscription box. Basically a personal stylist picks out five items and they send it to you. You can try them on and send back what you don't like and keep of course and pay for what you do like. So I asked for like a holiday fix. The chili, it needed some more chili powder. It definitely wasn't chili-y enough. There I go making up words again. But I added some more chili powder, some salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna let that simmer now for a few more hours till dinner because it's not quite like super hot yet where you know it's done. But I have the most amazing mother-in-law. So thank you so much, Grandma. She watched the boys, not only that, but she's now picking up the kids from school for me so I don't have to run there and wake up the boys and pick them up. How awesome. It's cold and snowy and I really wasn't looking forward to it. So I appreciate it. Now I have a little time to sit down and eat quick. We'll still have to go out because I need to bring Macy to gymnastics, but it kind of saves me one trip and getting the twins all bundled up into the car. So that makes me happy. So super, super thankful for her. The twins are just waking up, so I'll need to make this a little bit snappy, but I was just looking at the receipt. Now, if you keep all five items that they send you, you get a 25% off discount. And so with that discount, it's $264, which is a little bit high. Definitely not planning to keep all of these items, but if I could find like one or two things that I love for it that are a decent price, then possibly. But let's see who haven't even looked. Ashley is my stylist. And like I said, I just kind of asked for some holiday things like maybe, I don't know, red or cozy things. So we have, oh my, three bundles in here. So here's the first one. Okay, so we have some burgundy pants. These are by Pistola. I love Pistola pants. They are amazing. I've kept quite a few of them. These are the Hannah Cargo Skinny Pant. And if I remember, yeah, $88 for these. They have the zipper. I don't know if I care for the zipper on there, but they are pretty cute. These don't scream hollow. Well, maybe. I don't know. Kind of like the wrong shade of red, but they are cute. So we'll, we shall see about that. I'll try them on. It's this black something. It has like some brushing. What is this? Oh, okay. French gray. Looks like it's like a long sleeve dress. It is the Alvena Knit Lace Dress in black. And this is $54. That's not bad for a dress for Stitch Fix. But I don't wear a lot of dresses this time of year, but I suppose Christmas Eve this could be cute. Has some pretty lace detail on the top. You can see that. That's cute. It's nice and soft and stretchy. And then the last thing in the bundle has my heart because it's gray and it looks warm. It's by RD Style. And this is the McKinley Updated Ribbed Detailed Pullover. 
looks um, pretty cozy. Maybe a little bit more shorter than I would prefer because it comes up on the sides. It kind of has like that circle or curved hemline. For those types, I actually need it to be longer because I'm 5'9". I am quite tall, but it feels, it's thick. I wish it was a little longer, but this is $68. And then two more bundles here. This one looks cute. It looks like some sort of a sweater. It's kind of more pink though. I don't know, when I think of holidays, I think more like reds or greens. The Letty and Me Helsa Color Black Sherpa Lined Cardigan. So it's... I love me some cardigans, hence why I'm wearing one right now. But this is, just to open it, the Sherpa is only on the outside there. Is there a pocket? Is there not a pocket? Oh, what a bummer. What a shame. And this looks to be a jacket by Coffee Shop, New York. Did I tell you how much the Sherpa line was? The Sherpa line is $54. And now this trench jacket is my coffee shop. It's the Jasmine Knit Trench Jacket for $88. I think it's fun. It's festive. However, this probably isn't warm enough for around here this time of year. It's like feeling like below zero lately. It's super cute and belted, so I'll try that on too. Here's the jacket. It's very stretchy. I put it on over my cardigan. I know I'm very trendy right now. Oh, I like it more than I thought I would, but I just don't think it's going to be warm enough for this time of year. Like I said, I'm probably gonna send it back. Here's my cozy cardigan. I am like wanting to put my hands in pockets right now, but there aren't any. And honestly, if I had pockets, I would hands down keep it. It's super comfortable. It fits right. It looks warm and cozy. It is warm and cozy. I kind of like the hood, but there's no pockets. Here's the gray sweater. I wish it came down a little bit more. It's okay. I'm gonna think about this one. So far, this is a maybe, I think. <laughs> maybe, I think. That sounds right. I do like I do like how it fits otherwise. I think I just have to get past this part right here. What do we think? This is actually kind of cool up top. I, I actually think the lace is a nice touch. Again, I'm like reaching for pockets. I just love them so much. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I have anywhere where I would wear this for the holidays this year. There's not like a ton of parties. And it I don't want to buy it just to sit in my closet, so that's kind of unfortunate. I don't mind it. The sleeves are maybe a little short, but I mean, I'll probably do this anyways, but still. This one is a maybe two. Burgundy pants. Here they are. Disregard the puzzle on the floor. Grandma was doing puzzles with the boys here, but they fit perfect. Like, I love the fit. They're soft. They almost feel like leggings, but they aren't. The zipper is unique. I just don't know about the color. I don't know if it's more of a fall deal or if I could pull it off right now or after the holidays even, since we're so close now. Let me know what you think of the pants. Okay, so I looked at the pricing sheet and I'm leaning towards sending it all back. I just, I don't know. It just wasn't what I was expecting for a holiday fix, I don't think. Maybe I need to be more specific, but we like pockets. We like cozy. We need parkas in the Midwest in the winter. I don't know, I don't know. Just didn't really hit home for me, I guess, this time around. And we don't really have any like big holiday parties we're going to where I need a dress. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm not out any money because I have a styling pass, so I can always just reorder another one and try it out. It probably just wouldn't get here until January, so that's probably what I'll do. But let me know about the burgundy pants. Can you pull them off in the winter or is that just a fall thing? I totally forgot too that I want to pick out a carpet sample. There it is, somewhere, somewhere in that area. But I was talking to my hubby. He, he doesn't care which color I pick, but I just wanted his input, so I'm not the only one like trying to decide what color to do. 
he thinks we should do darker. I'm kind of in the middle of the line. So I think we kind of have an idea of which one. I just need to bring it downstairs and give it like one last look. This is probably like very unexciting, but we decided on the treasured ambience. We just kind of liked how it felt. It's very thick and lush and it'll be very comfortable down here. Now I actually don't mind this color. This is a contender, but I also kind of like this one too. Kind of this line right here, right in the middle. This is kind of comparable. I would say these are more the brown shade we have upstairs, but this one has a flex of it in it, so I think we could get away with it too. And plus, I mean, you probably won't even notice the difference. So, one of these two I'm thinking, I'm guessing we'll probably end up doing this Dew Kissed. That sounds, that's a weird name. And they're back to painting yet again. I found these in the Target dollar spot today for a dollar. And of course, Andrew hey, sees them. Mommy, how do you make brown? You just kind of mix a bunch of colors together. Mommy, they almost got to make brown in here. Yeah, maybe we can get some out of our art box. How about I paint a stem green? Sure. Blue. But they both love it, but Andrew, he is such a good artist. I have to show you the picture he drew. I actually have it on the refrigerator right here and I, when he showed this to me, I was like, who drew that for you? He drew this himself and colored it, but it's a dinosaur. What kind of dinosaur is this, Andrew? Um, a pterodactyl? A pterodactyl. Pterod pterodactyl. He did such a good job. I was super impressed. I also bought some Ritz crackers. I'm hoping to put peanut butter in the middle of them and then dip them in some almond bark. They're like my hubby's favorite, so I'm gonna try to do those, but not today. First of all, the reindeer kit that was like $1.50 from Hobby Lobby is a huge hit. We have reindeer for everybody. I may actually put some of these on our gifts. I think that some of our family members would love it. So they are adorable though. You guys are doing a good job. They are seriously loving it. You can't even look at me. And then second of all, I just wanna say thank you so much for all of the Christmas cards. I feel so loved. You all are way too kind in them. So thank you so much. I very much appreciate all of the kind messages and just seeing your families. I love it. I look forward to them every single year. I'm trying my best to get you a card back. So be on the lookout. And then Julissa, I did get your secret package there. I'm excited to use it one of these mornings here. And then on our way home, when we brought Macy to gymnastics, I did stop at the pottery place where we painted pottery last weekend. And here's how my little Christmas tree turned out. Actually, better than I thought. So I'm gonna add that to my tiered tray, I think, along with some of the things that you all have sent me. I've received some of the little dollar spot ornaments that I've added. They're so cute. Hey, Mommy. Oh, there's two left. Are we missing a reindeer? Oh, there's a couple more reindeer to do. So there you go. So yeah, thank you guys, seriously. The days are limited as far as how many Christmas movies we're gonna be able to squeeze in. So I put in the movie Elf. It is hilarious. We're just going to go eat out in the living room tonight. I wasn't even thinking, but this is perfect for a cold day.